I was planning on doing Super Mario 74 Part 2 today. You can see where that ended up. That's right, fighting up these, fighting with these guys. That's exactly where it ended up. Good guess. I'm impressed. So, yeah, a couple of things I've already talked about in Super Mario 74. I guess I could talk about here is that I have recently watched the movie Rango, weirdest movie alive. As well as having storms in my part of where I live. And there's a zombie. That's totally a conversation charter. It's like, oh yeah, there's a zombie. And there's a shadow. They get really annoying. Just trust me. <laughs> I'm really excited. And... Wow, I've already ran out of topics. I could talk about why Rango is so weird. The reason I thought Rango was so weird was that it had a lot of really high level vocabulary, like a Christmas story. Or however that movie's name is, I can never remember it. There we go. Unnecessary type combo, yay. Not to mention the story made no sense whatsoever. And this is totally how you sneak around a zombie. Ah, thief. Thief! What the? Why are there two zombies? How am I not dead yet? I'm probably gonna get an Aqua Sword for this, aren't I? No? Not even healing. I wasn't even anything back there. That's a waste. That's the cyber key. Oh, full energy. Oh, it's a full free. It's a full free. Free full energy. A full free energy. <laughs> Doing great so far when it comes to living. Alright, need to make sure I don't die. And I actually charge up my shots. Thanks so much. Ooh. Overkill. Could talk about what I'm doing in my real life. Thing about work too. I'm actually very close to finishing the game. I have almost all of the no Navi chips up until the... I'm not gonna spoil it. And I got like 190 something chips and there's a vampire. Lovely. need this. Well, that's a bug frag. That's someone for Speaking of bug frags, actually, I have... I think I'm... I know the location of every single bug frag now, so... I don't have to worry about that when it comes to... knowing when to get them in the actual game. This one. Not the actual game. The actual game I have in real life. Speaking of which, I think it's still on. I could actually talk about. One thing I love about DS's is, is that that guy was turned right at me and he didn't catch me. Wow. Power up. Uh, I'm not wasting a single second. I was wondering why I was charging so slow. I guess it's because I didn't have, have another power up in there. Overkill. So good to be able to use save states and speeding up though because I don't have those combinations in uh, real life although I've heard apparently that in, that uh, Nintendo's already oh yeah last area hooray it's actually allowed the use of state safe save states save states in the 3ds is whenever you're playing the can't can't thank speaker do anything today Whenever you're playing on the NES in their virtual console. 
Although they don't really call it safe states, we all know what it is. That's right, safe states. Alright, so there's the cyber key. I think I remember what the thing in the outside is. You don't really need it, but, you know, if you, if you so desire, like I do, then you're probably going to go get it. Darn, I missed. Oh yeah, remember what I said about these things get worse whenever they, um, get into stronger attacks? I don't take that back. I actually force it now. They get really annoying whenever they get into their stronger forms. And if you're wondering why, well, you'll be able to see as soon as I get to it. I love time freezes whenever you're just grabbing one of the items. It's like, hey, wait a second, I just wanted to get this real quick. That's all I really needed there. So I'll just get this obvious mystery data. And that's not quite all of it, but... Oh well. Can't be choosy. I was about to say, wait, I can do another program advance. So nope. Can't be choosy. Okay, man, just get rid of these guys. These guys. Singular. These guys. Hooray for the charge attacks. I think pretty much all of them can go through the barriers. That's one thing they did right. Wait, have I gotten that before? I'm not sure. Wait. I can just check in my thing here now that I think about it. Meteor 12. I'm used to having to go through a lot more in case you're wondering. Uh, no, that's the first one I got. Alright then, guess I'll have to remember to add that on. I wasn't even focusing on it and I got it. And ignoring that. And I think this is the correct way. That's just a guess. Guess me, go. Thank you. So I just haven't gotten an Aqua Sword yet. Oh, and if you're gonna know, yes, I am gonna die at some point in this game, but just trust me, it's gonna come at some point. I'm at that point right now where I'm just dying like crazy and there's a zombie chasing after me. Well, you don't have to worry about zombies after this part of the, the game, but you know what I mean. Ah. <laughs> that was a great sound, like, ah. And what is up with these guys not wanting to give any of their chips? And why is this guy still following me? Where does he go? Hopefully not up here. He went up here. Oh well, I can just avoid him like that. So we're almost tonight, man. And lovely. Getting rid of this guy. Oh. Seriously, it targeted him. He's not even existing. You know what? I'm not even gonna allow him to live. So there. Finally, a health increase. Huh, right when I needed it, too. Yeah, trust me when I say, ah, zombie. <laughs> that was great commentary. That was like, ah, zombie. Because, you know, I totally sound that excited. And, oh my goodness, these guys just don't want to relent. And yes, I do like choosing all my chips in the combination of possible. Why do you ask? Alright, so... Dang. Dang. Eh. This guy needs to stop following me. What was I even? Why did I even say that? I was like a day, almost like a doe. So we're getting all of our zenny back. How much do I have at this point? Sixty-two thousand. At least I know. Trust me, though. That's not even. In oh, I night man. <laughs> yes, he is night man. It yeah. Actually, I have to say, he looked pretty cool compared to his original counterpart, and that's a huge mace. And apparently this guy's having second thoughts about following the princess's orders down to the... word. 
You really think this is going to make folks happy? Huh? Yes, he's doubtful, but, you know, it's not his programming. <laughs> wow. I mean, no offense, but you're being pretty stupid. Alright, time to get rid of a couple things. And, Die Man's very easy. Watch. That's his main attack. Is throwing that mace. If you're standing right in front of him, he'll throw the mace towards you, and that'll allow you to do some very easy to do dodging. If he throws it up, he'll stones will start falling down on the roof onto you, which, as we know, is not good. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't want stones on my head. And he'll do this for a very long time. You know, I could use... No, wait. I couldn't do the program man, so I was thinking I could do... Never mind. Thankfully, they shorn that animation in Battle Rook for the program advance one. I thought I could do Gator, but that would be pretty cheap on a boss, especially the first time you fight it. Yeah, that's his other main thing, is that he jumps and I seriously beat him damage. S ranked him. First time with 40 health. That's how easy he is. Sorry. So, yeah. Somehow we weren't able to fall that whole time I was in Castle Network 4 and 5. And he shut off the switch. Hooray! That was an interesting sound there. And it's shaking again. And it turns out that she actually set off her own trap. Hooray! Why is the organization capitalized? What about Raul? Is he okay? Yeah, he's in the hospital. Oh yeah, turns out nobody died. I still can't get over the shock of my first time playing through and I'm like, did they seriously just kill everybody? Oh my goodness. And then here I was like, it didn't really help much that... Yeah, turns out she's not dead either. Dang. It's like in Rango. There was like this one scene where you knew... I'm surprised the movie wasn't PG-13. There was just a lot of bad stuff in it. Oh, and apparently this is the story behind her. First country to go on the net. That's how we got so powerful. However, other countries caught up and now we're behind. And then they were behind. How sad. The real enemy is gospel. Oh yeah. <laughs> All of Front of Man's programming is safe in my head. Why can't they even say the word dead? I mean, they've said it before anyway. So, yeah, he still doesn't want to team up because he's a jerk like that, and he has a really weird locking animation now that I look at it. Man, those guys... Man, I hate him, but those guys are worse. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! And, yeah, today's the day we go home. He wants to come back here with the family. And we have some time. So, why not? I actually do want to do a few things. Before I leave. I think now you can actually refight all the people. Yep, so I can get their first chip forms. Fine with me. Hmm, what should I get rid of? I guess Aqua Ball, sadly. Oh wait, Aqua Ball might have been useful. So, I'm um, gonna go quiet while I try and figure out how to get rid of this guy quickly. He doesn't really use that attack a lot, though. But, I mean, even in his final form, he doesn't seem to keep keep it on the screen for a very long time. Please don't target the snake. Thank you. Eh, why not? Trust me, this girl's gonna deserve it sooner or later. So, Gator. Man, I love that attack. I'm an S-Ranker. Snake Man. The Snake Man chip is very weird in this game, and I'll show it off as soon as I use it, but trust me. It has a hidden personality that you don't know of. 
Eh, sure not. Sure, I'll fight him with my water style still on. It probably, it probably help anyway. All right, so Raul now has 1,000 HP. I don't even remember what his original HP was. How did I die? Wait, how did I die? That was a great question. How did I dodge all that? Why can't I sound excited? Uh, I'm used to having my um thing. I was about to say thing. I'm used to having my custom bar going quicker because I have the I have a chip for that. Kind of like I have an F that. Well, I have a chip for that. Thankfully, they don't really add a lot of attacks on the Navis in the refights. I don't even, actually, now that I think that I'm not even sure they ever do that. Alright, so. Go invisible. Shoot him. With myself. That's a great point. Why does Mega Man shoot him with himself? Why can't he throw a projectile like Gator Man does? Eh. Could use Gator if I had it, but I don't. Oh well. What can he do? Obviously not use Gator. I'm still amazed I could beat Nine Man that easily. I think he usually causes me problems. Oh wait, I can use Zeteraton. Zeteraton actually works well for the Navis that hang out in the background because they're easy to hit then. It's especially useful for the next Navi fight, actually. The one that I hate the most. Yep, y'all who played this game know what I'm talking about. I don't care that did, that did horrible. The thing is, I got Thunder Man. Thunderman's not a very useful chip. It just attacks the third. It just attacks the third row, not row column ahead of you. So that's about as much as you can get. Sad, huh? Now before you go, well, actually do anything you have to do in Topia before you go, because you're not gonna be coming back here for not really a long time per se, but definitely not coming back here whenever you want to. Talk to him, you get the ONBA code, official Net Valor's Association code. Because, you know, we help save the world and all that. Hooray! So now we're done with that. One thing you can do is go on the bus stop, go to the departure lobby, and before I start doing anything, how long are you going to keep staring at people? Yes, you can actually refine. Chrono Man now. Remember what I said about Chrono Man v1 v2 that I hated them? I don't take it back. It's sad though because I was actually playing my real battle number 2. I was able to S rank. I was able to get v2 and v3 Chrono Man like first time. Like I don't even know how he was that easy. Just he was. Ah. I'm not doing so hot. Oh well, I didn't hit him. I think I'm just gonna get rid of it because it didn't prove to be very useful. Ah! Wrong way. Alright, so that was a mistake. I just don't like how, how freaking unpredictable this guy is. It's fine though, I'll just try and live with it. The most I know is that whenever he tries to attack, yeah, if he attacks like that, he's gonna do that. Well, that's see, I still, I still can't predict him. Even whenever I'm trying, I can't predict him. Wait, that only did 40 damage. Dang. Oh my, this guy. Oh my, this guy. All right, there's some damage. Why do you don't hurt yourself whenever you use your own attacks? That'd be bad. I'll just be glad, glad whenever I get a better folder because it's kind of boring using the same attacks 
Ah. <laughs> Sorry that was loud, but... What am I supposed to do? I didn't expect that. Wait, how'd that do so much damage? Why'd I miss? This is why I like using gator people. Now if I can actually get to gator and use it. Maybe I shouldn't stay in the back row so much. But then all I have to do is go back and that will help me dodge a lot more. Am I being so stupid? Yeah, I don't like how slow the custom gauge goes, but oh well. I got this now. I used to get three good uses out of that. I mean, if I could only use it once, I obviously wouldn't be so fond of it. Oh yeah, I think this game is a weird glitch when it comes to using the M cannons, the final version of the cannons. It only seems to show the medium cannon thing, and here's Prona Man. Theoretically speaking, it's an unbelievable result. I guess I can put in Prona Man, since he's actually useful. Alright, I think I'm gonna do some major folder changes, showing all the stuff I get. Because, trust me, all the stuff you can get is actually pretty amazing, but I have some money to blow, and I guess I'll be showing off what stuff I get. So, uh, be right back. And why not show this? This is pretty lucky. Now watch. That was fun. I had the same thing happen that I actually got punched punch program advance too, but continuing on my quest. Let's see what they have here. I buy this and this. I need this. And I'll just buy you out these. Alright, that's money well spent. Now I have 500. Which is half. As well as the chip I'm gonna need if I wanna get a very, very good uh, program advance early on. And even a power up so that I can do this. Alright then, continuing on my buying spree. Now to be able to log on to the other networks, you have to go through Natopia 1. I didn't get anything there, don't worry, I didn't even fight anything. And what you have to do is use the ONBA code and you can go through. Lovely. Now I just need to continue. Actually, I might as well show off Chrono Man's chip, because yes, you saw me put him in. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is wait for this these guys to be like that. He targets every enemy and does a wide sword slash at him. Very useful. And you know, it helps you with getting good ranks and stuff. Wow, that was quick. Like five seconds after I did that that uh, little short you saw, this guy appears. Fortunately I don't got anything to really do damage against him with yet, so I'll just have to wait and get lucky, apparently. And I have to wait another turn, but if I get Gator, hey, that's instant S rank for me. Uh, instant 7th rank. Huh, there we go. Wind fan gate, whoops, gate man. Alright, so just need to wait for this guy to start moving. And, who knows, I may even get a rank 10 and still get his V3 chip. So, I was actually pretty lucky. Eh, V2, but I'm pretty sure I didn't have V2 before, did I? Nope. Perfect. Continuing on. Thankfully I didn't spend all my money before coming here. That would have been bad. I need to buy an Aqua Sword N. 
that should be about it. And while this guy is still tempting, I'm not going to use him quite yet. I could afford his most expensive thing, but I'd still rather do when I have a lot more stuff. The thing is, you only really need 30 to get all the stuff that you can only get there. Well, you don't even really need 30, you need like 28. You get my point, though. It's not all of them, you just need most of them. So, rearranging folder. Guess I'll show up the folder arrangements I made today. Alright, so... I'll just show the stuff I moved in, I won't necessarily show the stuff I moved out. I now have Airman V2, an Aqua Sword N, Custom Sword, Fire Sword N, Move Down, and Invis 2, Navi plus 20, Chrono Man, of course, Recover plus 120. And uh, that's about it. It's a pretty... You'll see why it's a useful sol folder later on. Alright, so... I guess that'll be it for me today. Now to try and... Uh, finish up whatever business I have left in the Topia and then continue on. I think, I think, I'm, this is, I think I'm in this guy's way.